Morning, everybody. <laughs> it's well book day today. <laughs> Who are you today? George. George is my best medicine. Merida. Merida. I see Merida. Yesterday's question about the rule changes. I think there's a lot of positive feeling about the rule changes. I think it's good that the RNA, USGA kind of bodies that have been stuck, it feels like, are trying to mix it up, trying to modernise it and feel more kind of um, that the rules are there to make us have more fun and get on with it a bit more is the feelings. I think a point so many miss reference the rules though is the amount of people that play golf outside of clubs, competitions or any governing bodies. Golf is predominantly a social sport. I don't know the exact numbers but there must be hundreds of thousands of golfers who play to the rules that they're just happy to play to. So for those people I can't imagine it's going to make any difference. So today's question and this is a fun one. I'm sure most people won't give their real answer. What tees should women play off? Down there, there's a comment section. You can read them, you can interact, thumbs them up. You can also thumbs up the video while you're down there if you're liking the daily vlogs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. Click, 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 click. So today's swing's a great one because this guy has already messaged me saying he's using some of the drills he's seen in other daily vlogs. So I think this is a really good way to show you how these videos can help you and also how an individual lesson's always going to help because you can get lost. So he has told me that he has practiced the laying down of the shaft drill, you know, so where we talk about trying to get the shaft to feel like it's laying down as you start the downswing and it's helping him get rid of his slice shot. Now if we start his downswing here, I would like to see that shaft lay down more. So I would actually like to see him be skilled at trying to get it to come you know, in these regions, even slightly exaggerated. But there's something stopping him, which again, which is where the individual lesson beats the video, which is why I try to keep my videos as entertaining as possible, because you can watch golf for entertainment and a bit of education, but it's never gonna replace that individual lesson. Watch, as he moves back, I wanna see this left wrist, so his lead wrist, gloved hand, definitely working differently. His wrist angles, and then at the top we see again, uh, the wrist angles playing a part here so I don't like the fact that there's that hinge in relationship to his arm I want to get that out and then laying that shaft down that bit more for you will make a lot more sense these kind of angles here with the club face I'd like to see the face more kind of in this region so we're going to do a bit of wrist angles while still talking about laying the shaft down a little bit I think um, we could get this guy drawing it in no time at all heading into town spend a bit of quality time with uh, Mrs C So first drill I want you to practice, you need a door frame. And what I'm gonna do, I'm standing, say 20 degrees left open of the angle of this frame. I'm gonna make a demo backswing, no club, just with my left hand. And I'm gonna come back and try and flatten my hand against this door frame. So you would be more here. I want you to get the feeling of flattening that wrist off and you can do this all the way back. And then feeling a downswing as well where you're getting that wrist flat against that door frame. Still feel like you're twisting and opening your body up and then come through. This drill is fantastic for giving people the feeling of how much they need to work those wrist angles. 20 degrees left of that door frame, flatten it off on the way back. Downswing, flatten it off onto that door frame and then just feel it coming through. It will transform the way you feel those angles and it will allow us to keep flattening that shaft off, laying that shaft off on the downswing a bit more. If the wrist angles are in the right place, We'll work on that drill later on. The best thing I think people will notice about that tip is my tat. So yes, I am now an Avenger. Orla gave me it from some sweet she had. She had one as well, so we put one on together. I'm not having a midlife crisis. Let's answer your questions. Hey bruh, any tips for us uh, snow-locked North Americans about how to get our games ready for the upcoming spring while the courses are still closed? Thanks bruh. So getting ready when you're snowed out is the 
kind of question everyone wants to know and unfortunately the answer is that you can't really be ready so the same as if you were playing but what you can do is maybe more than what other people are doing who are just maybe skiing possibly during the snow months we don't have snow months so I don't know what you're doing that kind of weather makes snowmen I would be chipping putting every day I'd be picking a club up every day feeling it in my hand I would be swinging in front of reflections those kind of things as a young golfer when I was like dead king practice 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 it wouldn't stop me not being able to get on the golf course I would still swing clubs chip putt on the floor those kind of things and that would get me out of the blocks faster than the people I think who hadn't done that so you've got to lower those expectations I don't think you will come out as good as you want that's probably just the fact but you can come out better than the next guy or girl if you do more than the next guy or girl So wrist angle's now in place, a little bit more of laying that shaft down feeling. You can do this drill in a few different ways. So let's start by holding on to the metal. So you've got all the rubber grip above your grip, your hands. Normal backswing, literally see, watch that club, that grip end start to point out, way out in front of you. Just get the feeling of laying that down and then spinning it back out to where an imaginary ball would be. So if you were steepening the handle, obviously you would see it moving this way. It's almost coming back in towards your feet. So it's actually that visual of just seeing it move out that way and then spinning it. It can really help people move that kind of movement into a swing. But you could take it to different extremes. You could almost hit shots this way. Something like a 7 iron or 5 iron. Tee the ball up, almost like a driver length. And then hold at the bottom of the handle. So I've got a little bit of grip above my hand now. And that ball up in the air, obviously with the short club, I can actually hit shots. I can make a backswing. I can see that grip out the corner of my eye just dropping down or pointing more out in front of me. And then I can spin around. And actually try and hit a shot. Now that's hard. And if you stop and have a look, you're going to hit a few funny shots. But it's a really good way to kind of drill in that feeling. And then you would just step to the side and do a full swing, trying to imagine the same ideas. So for me, holding at the bottom of the grip, I would probably do two. So drop, hit off the tee, same again. Just look at it out of the corner of my eye, I can see it dropping the handle, pointing it more out, so this part's put more out in front of me. Hit a shot, and then I would have a ball down here, not on a tee, back up to the top of my grip. Hit a shot and recreate that feeling. This really hits home with people. Again, it's one of those drills when I see people doing this a lot on a, on a range after a lesson, they make massive moves forward, coming back for their next session. Right, there we go guys. Friday night, it's paella night. Oh yes, the paella is on. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you're liking the daily vlogs. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there as well. Apron, or as YouTube calls it, nice penny. Let us know your thoughts on the tees. Which tees should women play off? Hit that comment section up down there. Obviously there's a reason for this question. You know, I think it asks a bigger question than the obvious knee-jerk reaction. I do love chorizo. See you next week. Have a good weekend as always. And thanks for watching. Play well this weekend. And are you going to be keeping the pin out or are you going to be taking it out? I'm already getting ready for it. New rules.